What's up guys, it's Taylor and Jeff. Welcome back to my channel. Um, do you want to do the intro? Sure. <laughs> hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back oh, to on, my channel. All right, go ahead. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we oh, have a not, very sorry. It's not, sorry. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, a crowd favorite, everyone's favorite guest, Jeff. That was good. Thanks. So today we are going to be playing. It's screaming? my channel. You're screaming. It's my channel. Oh wait, why is it Today we're going to be right. playing a very fun little game. Um, for the new year, we asked a lot of you on Instagram your assumptions about us, and we are going to address them and say whether there is any sort of accuracy to them or not. Did I leave anything out? No, that's, that's pretty good. All right, so like Jeff said, we took to Instagram to ask you what you guys assume about us, about our relationship, about our lives, and we haven't really looked at them yet, so we're gonna look at them live and then answer them. So here we go. First assumption. Someone said, I assume that you never argue. We don't. Next question. That's not true. <laughs> um, That's I wouldn't true. say argue, we don't get in like fights, but we definitely like bicker. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure like, it's anyone on earth does. Yeah, especially when you're like living with someone 24 seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely normal to bicker and banter and you know. Like the most up. recent was probably me not putting my laundry away. Right, after I did the laundry, folded Okay, I helped with the laundry, you just brought it up and I didn't put it away. Okay, yet. so here we go, next question. <laughs> Or next assumption. Someone said, I assume that you want like five kids. <laughs> that's too many, I think. Yeah, that's too many. Um, I mean, obviously, I think it depends on where we're at. Financially. Correct. And geographically, honestly. Like, I would not want to raise five kids in New York City. I wouldn't raise three kids here. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Um, but we definitely want kids. Yes, for sure. Just not five. Five. Which leads us to our next assumption. Someone said, I assume that you don't want to be parents. False. I think, like honestly, I think my purpose in life is to be a dad. I really truly believe that. And I'll reinforce that with, after getting Parker, the way you are with her and the way you care for her and prioritize her, dad material. Dad material. Yeah. So definitely, we want to be parents one day. But I'm like in no way. No, 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 we're not, not anytime soon. That's why we got to it, that Tom. stage. Um, okay. Someone said, I assume that Taylor is the romantic one. I say yes. I'm much more, I mean, did you see our trip to Europe video? Yeah, just because you know how to edit a video. No, because I took the video. I thought about making it for your birthday. I surprise you. Okay, but I'm not that, saying you're not okay. romantic. Well, you gotta say that. I'm not saying you're not romantic. I just I would say I'm more romantic. Like it was my idea last night to have like a date night and go out for sure wine. I assume you would like to adopt one boy and one girl. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't think we haven't really had since it's not anywhere on close to like on the radar right now. Um, Adoption versus IVF or any of those other options We haven't really discussed that yet. I I would I've, be open to adopting. Yeah, for sure. I've always wanted Twins like just two and done at the same time they grew up with each other and one boy one girl would be great um, But we'll be happy with whatever, whatever. That's cute. I assume that Taylor is bossy, but is also loving <laughs> Check. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, bossy, True. but like lovingly bossy. Like you want, you're bossy because you want things done a certain way because you care about the way the room looks. A little bossy, but but also very loving. Yes, yes. It's a healthy mix. Cool. 
Um, I assume that your lives are perfect. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. No? That's weird. Huh. Huh. Uh, I don't think anyone's life is perfect. I think we may portray a very perfect lifestyle on the internet. I try to do my best to not do that because that is the furthest thing from the truth. I mean, yeah. I think we have the same issues that everyone else has in, in our lives, in our relationships, with our families. I also think with that, we're also very lucky in that we found each other. We For sure. have a great home that we love. We have a great dog. Mm -hmm. um, we have good dip. I bit my tongue. <laughs> we have um, like good jobs, like, you know, we're happy or, you know, comfortable or whatever, but um, yeah. it's not perfect. There's no such thing as I assume that Jeff is much more reserved. False. What YouTube channel are you watching? Yeah, that is false. I'm probably the more reserved one. Um, okay, wait. I think it's both. For sure, but like, if one of us is more reserved, it's definitely me. You're like, overall, you're the more star reserved. of the show, like, obviously. A performer, if you will. But there's times where I'm reserved too. Like, if I don't feel like yeah. performing. <laughs> which, which is when? Um, there's been times. So back to, there's a lot of assumptions about arguing and fighting, which is funny. Um, someone said, I assume you guys rarely fight and when you do, it's solved easily with communication. Wait, what was the first part? You guys that you rarely, rarely fight. Um, I will say something from the beginning of our relationship to now is we solve conflict way quicker yeah. than in the beginning. It could be quicker, but it takes a lot less yeah, time. Like in the beginning, if we would get into like a bickering moment or a s argument or whatever, it would sometimes take like 24 hours, I feel like, to be fully resolved. And yeah. now... I feel like sometimes now it takes... A now day. it's like... No. Some stuff. But we talk about it immediately. Yeah. I'm like not afraid of confrontation at all. I like actually prefer it sometimes. Jeff is like so non-confrontational. Uh, which makes it funny sometimes, but yeah, I think the biggest thing with bickering or arguing or whatever you want to call it in a relationship is to not let things like fester, fester or like hold grudges or anything. Never bring up things from the past that have already taken place and been resolved, mm -hmm. which is something that <laughs> Jeff struggles with. Um, but I keep the receipts. Yeah, I think. Again, no. If anyone says they don't argue or don't fight, they're lying or they're crazy. So both. Someone said, "I assume Taylor takes charge." In certain aspects. What do you think? I think it most. Food, I take charge. Oh, okay. When we're making up. Like, where should we go to eat? You can't make a decision to save your life. At all, he I'm cannot. I'm a Sagittarius. No, no I'm not, I'm a Libra. Oh my god. Jeez. Um, I'm a Sagittarius, but... I can't even decide that. What was the question again? Oh, yeah. that I take charge. Yeah, I'm much more like assertive and... And I'm go with the flow, I don't right. care. Like, if you really want to go to a restaurant, sure. Right. So yeah, someone said, I assume Jeff played hard to get in the beginning. What? No. No chance. You were like that. Really? Right around my finger. I mean, I wouldn't say you were like, leave me alone. I remember I didn't respond for like five minutes and then you like triple texted. I do that now still. I'm not embarrassed by that. But definitely didn't play hard to get. I can, I can say that. Do you think you played hard to get? No, because I was very eager and excited about you, so like why play hard to get if, it, if I know I wanted that? Like there's no benefit in playing hard to get when you, you both know that you 
want the other person. It's true. I assume Jeff never stops singing or quoting movies. Huh. The singing, true. He never stops singing. Quoting movies, he can't remember lyrics, quotes. Jeff. I could quote it, but you just wouldn't know them. You wouldn't know the quotes. He, no. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe All right, that. new video coming soon yeah, of right. movie quotes and you guessing them. Okay. But you do, he does sing and dance all the time. If you've seen my Instagram story, I usually try to catch it when I can. It's free entertainment for you. You should be grateful. I assume you both want to have kids, but one of you wants them sooner than the other. I think we're pretty much on the same page about that. On the count of three, say in how many years from right now you want a baby in your arms. Okay, okay, hold on, let me think. Let me, let think. me think, hold on. Okay, me too. How many years from right now? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I got it. One, two, two three, three, seven. <laughs> nice. All right, so you got it. Uh, that's funny. Uh, I assume you guys enjoy a, a good Netflix binge. For sure. That's for sure. My favorite. No mm. You gonna say I plan it? No. Oh no, I was gonna say like truly one of my favorite nights is like on the couch, like picking a really good show that we're both really excited about, which takes. Forever and just going, like just what was going. It? Two nights ago, we fell asleep on the couch. Oh, what was that? Mur the murder thing? Oh my God! Don't f with cats. Whoo boy! That one had me mm -mm. angry. Yeah. So, but we, yes, we do. And enjoy I can watch it. anything, like House Hunters. Oh, we watch Animal Planet. We watch House Hunters like nonstop. It's just like always on in the background. It's our go-to. Some of these between like that taste. and between like that and Bob's Burgers is really our our stuff. I like going to bed to Animal Planet. Yeah, that's true. I assume that you guys inspire each other. True for me. You think you inspire me? I think you inspire me. <laughs> Kidding. Um, I agree. Um, I assume Jeff does most of the cooking. Wrong. Yes. Ah. Wait. I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah. I do cook too, though. But like, what time? There will be times you have when to look I for my reaction. No, there will be times when I like want to cook us dinner, and then he'll barge in and because I don't want to eat a crappy meal. Are you serious? I'm just kidding. No, you cook sometimes. I assume Jeff is is more of the organized one in the relationship, and I am the more more of the free spirit. I think it's the opposite. You're much more free spirited. I mean, no, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I'm pretty. Fr I'm free spirited. I'm more like impulsive, travel the world, pick up and leave, but also the organized one. So, I think you're more like structured, like, you know? Sure, I agree with that. Huh. I assume that Jeff says sorry more than Taylor. False. No, Jeff, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> this goes back to me being, no! a, me being a pacifist. I would rather just be like, I'm sorry. What? And have it be done. No! Jeff, I have to I have to I have to do like this. Or I'll be like, is there something you wanna say? To get you to say sorry. That's a tr and that's another video coming soon. On period. I assume Jeff calms Taylor down. I think yes. I think so. I think so. I assume that when you two become parents, you will be more of the disciplinarian than Jeff. Yeah, I'm gonna be the fun dad for and sure. And I'm gonna be like the... I'm gonna be the dad that in 20 years they look back like, ah, thanks dad. 
and I'm gonna be the dad that's at the bar with them. Uh, what are you trying to say? At the bar with them when? At 21. I mean, I'll be there too. The dog. The dog has taught us a lot. lot. Smile. Hey, really? Yeah. I thought I'd check that. Got it! I assume you seem happy online, but in reality, are very sad. <laughs> I'm not a good actor, so if... I don't yeah. think I'd be able to sit here and make right. these videos right. if we were sad in real life. Right. <gasps> I assume you're both vampires. We are. Damn it. I assume you guys put on a persona for the camera. I don't think so. Think so. I mean, I usually don't talk this loud or this much or whatever, but like, I don't, we definitely don't change our personalities. I think our friends can attest to that. I assume you were more guarded, shy, and took longer to open up. Me. Uh, false. You, I think you spilled all of your yeah. baggage the very first night we met. I did. That, that, that is a whole video in itself, like our first interaction. Like how we met. Yeah. The truth. The conspiracy. Right. I assume that you love Jeff's glasses so much. I do love Jeff's glasses. He keeps wanting to get contacts, which I'm all for, um, but I keep, I'd say he doesn't need them. It's gotten to the point, I never used to wear glasses to like two and a half, three years ago. And now, I feel like I look so weird without them. Yeah, I, don't, I only really know you with glasses. But I do want to get contacts. Yeah. Just because I feel like they're easier and... Easier, you think? Like, I don't have to bring in my glasses anywhere and... You have to I'm... put two things in your eyes and then I take know, them out. I know, I know, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I assume Taylor is the one who begins little fights first. Yes. You heard it here first. All right, final question. Someone says, I assume you have a secret red-headed foster child that's missing a limb. Be right back. Somehow, at my birthday, this showed up and has since been left at my house and she's missing an arm. So, that is true. Okay, um, you can't just do that, you have to give them some backstory. <laughs> Taylor's friends brought this doll who was on sale at CVS for like $5. Right. And they thought it would be funny to make her the mascot of the birthday. And here she is. Here she is. She got in a snow tubing accident. She did. Um, all right. <laughs> so. Give me your park. <sighs> There she is. All right, guys. Well, that is it. Thanks um, for coming back to my channel. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Is that it? Uh, yeah, share with a friend. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's it. Happy 2020. Enjoy this video of your assumptions about us. Peace.